Um, okay. Um, in your book, Capitalism and Freedom, which I've read cover to cover. Gee, you thank you. <laughs> um, you presented the thesis that capitalist societies, uh, capitalist society was a prerequisite for a free and democratic society. But how does this fit with the um, example of South Africa, a nation which fits your criteria for a capitalist society? It has relatively unregulated free enterprise, um, market diversification, and multinational participation but in no way could be considered free with uh, apartheid discrimination and forced labor by the passbook law. Uh, you, I'm afraid that you read the book from cover to cover, but not line by line. <laughs> because you will find that the statement in question is that a free market economy is a necessary, but not a sufficient condition for a free society. I have never argued that it's a sufficient condition only that it's a necessary condition. So I said in there, I gave examples of societies which predominantly relied on market economies, on market mechanisms for their economy, but yet were not by any stretch of the imagination free societies. So I don't believe that's a contradiction. I think free societies are very rare things. And most, uh, most societies at most time in human history have not been free. So I don't know any simple formula to produce a free society. I only know that if you don't have a market economy, you won't have a free society. Um, in your book, you presented the thesis that capitalist societies